Hey you guys, I'm Lizzie. This is vlog number nine, I think, and um, we're going to call it vlog nine, the Christmas edition, volume one, um, because I'm getting really Christmassy. So double points to everyone who asks Christmassy questions. Um, yeah, I'm just going to launch straight in. I've got a really crazy day today. I'm um, trying to organize getting ready for the first music video, which I'm so excited about. I um, had a really long Skype last night with the director of the video and it's sounding really cool. So, um, lots to do. So anyway, launch straight in. Um, Wayne asked, if you had a pile of presents wrapped under your tree on Christmas morning, that would be very nice, um, and each one had a gift of a collaboration with anyone, who would you choose? Oh, the possibilities. Um, like for a writing collaboration, I would just like completely freak out if I could write with um, Joni Mitchell. I think she's amazing. You know, I'm sure that I've actually spoken about this before, but just like her lyrics and her melodies and how she's kind of, it's like she's unbound um, by form and by structure and, and yet it all makes perfect sense. It's, it's, you know, I think she's really a genius. Like her songs are kind of masterpieces and now I'm completely gushing. <laughs> It's like a fangirl right here. <laughs> um, like for a for a kind of duet, like a singing collaboration. Um, you know, this is gonna sound really weird, but I'd really love to collaborate like with Leonard Cohen. I mean, both as a writer, I mean, he's amazing. This is like you know, dream world stuff. Um, but as a singer, like I think his voice is just so kind of amazing and interesting and sort of like macabre. Like it's a little bit kind of dark and moody and interesting. I think that'd be awesome. Um, so many different people, yeah. So like one day, hopefully, like also some writers like um, Ryan Tedder and like I'd love to collaborate with like Katy Perry and sort of the more pop side, Alicia Keys. I think she's amazing. Um, but yeah, so if I possibly managed to have those presents under my tree, I would lose my shit. <laughs> um, okay, Johnny asked, what's your pick for the worst Christmas song? Um, well, I disagree. I don't think it's Snoopy's Christmas because I sadly have to admit that I do kind of love that carol. <laughs> um, but, you know, I reckon until about two months ago, I would have said, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Little Drummer Boy, you know, the Upper Pum Pum one. Um, when I was a kid, whenever my mum would play that song, I would just like freak out, start crying, be like, no, no, up a bum bum. <laughs> so yeah, I've never really liked that carol. I don't know why, um, but I still didn't like it into adulthood. And, um, but yeah, since I was actually in Sydney with uh, my producer, awesome guy called Stu, and like Stu, this is totally not personal, man, but he played me this, um, this track by the Pogues. I think it's called the Fairy Tale of New York or something like that. And seriously, probably the worst Christmas song I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, it's probably just a personal thing, and I'm sure people love it, but I'm just like, oh my god, that was actually released? <laughs> so, yeah, probably the folks. Um, Callum asked, have you ever considered doing a studio version of I Dreamed a Dream? No. Like, um, I think when I was younger, I would have loved to have, because musical theatre was really my buzz. Um, but... No, I mean, to be really, really honest, like, I love Les Mis, um, and I love going to the show and stuff, but I sort of feel like it's been done to death a little bit, like, amazing song, great in its context, um, but I don't think there's really anything that any singer has left to say in that song, you know, unless you're playing Fontaine on the stage, so, um, so no, but it is a great song, but no, I don't think I'll make a, a version of it, um, and last one before I run off to do lots of stuff. Um, Matt asked, what is your favorite Christmas movie? I mean, is this even like a contest? It has to be Home Alone. It's like, you know, really, it's like the Christmas movie. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just the era that I grew up in. But the one with uh, Macaulay Culkin, the little blonde kid, um, I just think it's so funny. Like, my cousins and I, even now, um, at Christmas, we kind of, we rent it or... I mean, actually, are there even, are there video stores anymore? I don't know. Like, last time we went and rented it, but we might have to download it this time. Um, 
and yeah, it's just like a great sort of family sit down and we watch Home Alone and yeah, it's cool. So on that note, Merry Christmas everyone. I know I'll say that like heaps of times before Christmas because I'm a Christmas freak. Um, but thanks for your questions and I'll chat to you um, next Tuesday. Okay, see you guys. Bye.